Alright, Shalom. Want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessing to the Most High's elect. It's your brother Yagadah Lamar from GMS Houston. And uh, I kind of just wanted to address, um, really not directly, but uh, just dealing with the, the hot topic of uh, General Yohanna uh, um, telling Jake to take the goddamn vaccine man okay and um there's a couple of brothers that motivated me to jump on this uh specific um topic what i'm about to go into i was listening to the brother mike Allah in uh, dallas had um did a video uh, uh titled captain jazari uh, um, make a choice or choose okay is it one or the other would you take the vaccine or not man okay because uh and uh after watching that lesson and then the brother Abaye had done a lesson as well, all right, going into the fact that we should uh, uh, always know that this uh, this devil's uh, rust is not altogether wiped away. In other words, uh, we can never trust this man, okay? Now, anything that he provides, anything that he comes with is a weapon towards us, man. We should know that nothing this devil provides is uh, for the benefit of Israel, man. All right, he is our enemy our spiritual enemy, physical enemy on every level, man. Okay. So the closer we get into the end of this thing, you seeing a, a, a clear distinction uh, between the ones who are truly serving the heavenly father versus the ones who are uh, fearing and serving this, uh, this beast sister, man. Okay. So that's what we're approaching where you're going to see who, uh, uh, Who's truly serving the Lord, man? Okay, all the gimmicks is about to go out the window. All the game plan, all the pistol toting, and showing all these guns and boot camp and all that militant bullshit is going out the uh, window now that Esau is getting ready to come in like a flood, okay? And start slowly uh, 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 taking away your little privileges and shit, all right? And things of that nature if you don't take this Maxine, man. Okay, we're going to see who, who's, who's these diehard uh, tough guys, okay? All right, if you haven't been building your spirit up to be tough and building your faith, you're going to fold, man. Okay, so with that, I'm going to get straight into Joshua chapter 24 and verse 14. It says, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And that's the uh, the, uh, the key ingredients to serving the Lord is in, ser is in sincerity and in truth, okay? It says, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. Okay, it says, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? So right now, it's boiling down to who's going to uh, uh, have fear and serve the Heavenly Father and who's going to serve this devil, man. Esau, Edom, man. Okay? And, and, and uh, promote their agenda. Okay? We're about the fear of the Lord, man. Okay? All right? And, and that's why we were commanded to do what? To eat the whole roll, man. Okay? So you have proper understanding of this book from front to back to prepare yourself for everything that's going to happen, man. Okay, understanding the will of our enemy, okay, which is the will of the Heavenly Father, if you understand that, man. Okay, and that the Most High is going to use this devil to do certain things to test the faithful, man. Okay, and weed out the ones who've been bullshitting and faking and fronting, man. Okay. And a uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get that in Ezekiel 3, because in order to properly serve the Lord, you have to have an understanding of these scriptures, man, to know how to serve the Lord. And as you read in verse 14 of chapter 24 in Joshua, in truth and sincerity, man, you have to understand this whole Bible uh, and what this whole thing is about to properly serve the Lord, man. OK, so this is Ezekiel chapter three and starting at verse one. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou that thou findest, eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. Okay? So we supposed to get this understanding and go before the uh, the house of Israel, man. Okay? Now, uh commanding general Yohanna, obviously, either he uh, he doesn't have the understanding 
or he he's just sold out and doesn't give a damn. Okay, obviously he don't give a damn about the people if he's telling you to take the uh, vaccine, man. Okay, so we are not supposed to uh, go. We, we deliver our people over to Esau, man. Okay, we're set to be watchmen and warn uh, uh, Israel of what our enemy is getting ready to do, not deliver them up, man. Okay. So uh, reading on verse two, it says, um, "So I opened my mouth and." He caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat. And what is our belly? It's talking about our mind because that's how we're going to digest the, uh, the scriptures, man. Okay, to gain that understanding, uh, to apply to our lives and our situations that we encounter, all right, and becomes wisdom, man, giving us experience, all right, and growth to persevere through everything that we're going to face, man. Okay, now this Maxine is nothing but a preliminary unto the micro, uh, the mark of the beast, which is a microchip, man. Okay, that's all this is, man. This is a setup to uh, uh, uh for for the uh, for the microchip, man. Okay, it says and and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat, and in my mouth, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness man now there's a balance of this man okay and i'm gonna get it in revelation 10 because we uh all jake that came across that heard the word it was sweet in their mouths man okay as honey man okay but it doesn't stop there man that's why you have to eat the whole roll and find out the ugliness of the scriptures find out the uh the, the tribulations and the afflictions that we're gonna have to face to show ourselves worthy before the heavenly father man okay Find out the 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 uh the 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 wicked scrutiny that we will fall under, man. Okay, the slander, all the ne negative things that was gonna come up against us. The fact that we're gonna have to uh uh present ourselves as a uh uh our body as a living sacrifice. Okay, and at the end of this thing, we're gonna be before a life or death situation, man. Okay, and if you have ate this uh, whole scroll and understand these scriptures, you know that there's no uh, uh, death situation with you, uh, with you how, while you how we shy, man. Okay, because if you die faithful, you will return, man, first with you how we shy. Okay, so just to get the balance of that sweetness uh, that comes uh, in the mouth from eating this roll, okay, all right, and that's, that's what Jake uh, gravitates to when they first hear this, man. All right, all the thoughts of the kingdom of heaven, have multiple women, all right, having uh, spiritual powers, complete dominion, all that. That's sweet, man. Okay, that sounds good to you, man. So Jake gravitate to it. Now they got something to be a part of, man. Okay, but let me read this real quick. This is Revelation 10 and 10. It says, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Okay, and what is that bitterness, man? The afflictions and the things that we're going to have to deal with, man. Okay, the balance of the scriptures, man. It's not going to all be honey, but at the end of it, the reward is going to be great if you get through the bitterness, man. Okay, and who is the most high uh, set up to be the wicked to implement most of the bitterness that we're going to have to deal with, man? Because uh, this is the society we're dealing with is completely wicked man this world is in darkness so if we're coming with the light of the scriptures all right we're gonna uh meet adversities and bitterness man okay and he's gonna use this devil to uh to be behind most of it man because he's the whipping stick of the most high unto israel all right for our transgressions man okay so we, we're having that understanding that this is the man that the most high set up to be against us okay all right, and be uh, and operate in complete wickedness. Anything that he comes with, we know not to go with, man. Okay, any solution that he says he's providing, we know is negative, man. Okay, we know is bad, man. Okay, so let's go on to get a scripture dealing with these elites, the ones that's ruled and everything, man. Okay, because that's ultimately what you're gonna have to choose. You're gonna choose to serve the heavenly Father, or you're gonna choose to serve this uh, system. Ran by these Amalekites, man. All right, this is a um, Psalm fifty-six, and this is a Psalm of David. So, like your sixty-four, and this is a Psalm of David. It says, "Hear my voice, O Yahweh, and my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy, man." And now you're seeing that's what's happening, man. 
All right, a lot of these gung ho jakes that's uh, uh that's uh, uh a part of these other camps, and you might even have some amongst GMS as well, man. All right, who was proclaiming to be these real tough guys, man? Now that this COVID has hit, and now we coming with the uh, uh getting closer and closer to mandatory vaccines and all other things coming. All right, that fear is growing of Esau, man. But the faithful is not fearing Esau, man. All right, we we would have been speaking. On exactly what the fuck is happening, man. Exactly the way things have played out is the way the true men of the Lord have been saying it's going to play out, man. Okay, why? Because they ate the whole roll, man. And understood this devil and what he's about, man. Why? Because we know we understand the most high. And he warned us of what this devil was going to do, man. So we stayed on our watch, paying attention and, and studying this uh, 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 what this devil is going to come with, man. He's going to come with his plagues, man, and he's going to come with the solution, man, all right, because that's what he's about, order out of chaos, man. He's going to create the chaos and come with order, but the order is not going to be the, a true solution, man. It's going to be a downfall, man, all right? So we're supposed to be praying unto the Heavenly Father to preserve our life from the fear of the enemy, man. We don't want to fall. We fearing the Heavenly Father, so we're not fearing nothing that this devil is going to come with. We're not fearing losing privileges in his uh, society if we don't take a vaccine, okay? All right, so I'm going to read uh, verse 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, man. Okay, so this is King David saying, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, man. Now, at that uh, now we're in the time that the wicked has complete control over the world, man. All right, and the scriptures tell you that they are weary uh, and by the multitude of councils, man. So you think that they having councils on how to save the earth, how to make things better? No, they're destructive people, man, that have sworn to kill their brother Jacob, man, going all the way back to Esau, man. Okay, so in these councils, they're doing nothing but seeking to destroy Israel. Okay, and even in their own movies, they show you that they, they, they're going to end up destroying the earth if the Most High don't intervene, man, which he will. Okay. So any the thing that come, these devils are behind everything, man. So anything that they present to us is for our destruction. Okay. So that's why we have no choice. All right. We're the ones that have the understanding, but to believe and trust in the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, so I want to get another Psalm of David, man, just to show the proper mentality that we're supposed to be in, okay, concerning uh, any fear of, of our enemy, man, okay, and what we're going to trust in, okay? So uh, this is a uh, Psalm chapter 55, and I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, as for me, I will call upon Yahweh, and the Lord shall save me, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He had delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. Yahweh shall hear and afflict them, even as he abideth of old Salah, because they have no changes. Therefore they fear not Yahweh. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant man so i'm not gonna even get into all the things that this devil has done man okay for somebody in the same sentence to state the wickedness of this devil and the things that he's done to the nation of israel okay from the gadites to the uh to the uh, latin tribes to the uh to the uh, southern kingdom man okay and now we're supposed to trust this man with a mystery uh maxine no no all right there's no peace in this man, man. Okay, there's nothing. He he he's he broken every treaty that he's uh 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 uh, uh put forth, man. Okay, you can never trust this man. All right. It's uh verse twenty one. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast our burdens, and this is the point I wanted to get at, man. Okay, concerning this Maxine, the mark of the beast, the pestilence that's coming, anything that we're going to face as an adversity, okay, this is what we're supposed to do, man. All right, verse 22, it says, Cast our burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, man. Okay, 
So that's going all the way back to the first scripture uh, in uh, Joshua 24 and 14, where it said, we're going to serve the Lord in truth and sincerity, man. Okay, if you're doing that, you're going to fall under the category of the righteous and you can't fail because the Most High is going to protect the righteous, man, of the nation of Israel, man. All right. Verse 23, it says, but thou, O, o uh, Yahweh, shall, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. So we're not worried about Esau, man. Okay, because you had one of these guys in the Irish, uh, uh, under General Yohanna had made a statement. It made no fucking sense whatsoever. Excuse my language. Okay, but he made a statement of, okay, concerning this Maxine, um, that they might have uh, the microchip in it. And uh, if you uh, if you do that, then um, I'm trying to think of how he worded it. It sounds so fucking stupid and, and ridiculous. It's kind of hard to even quote, man. But uh, it was along the lines of basically having a microchip in the vaccine. And if you take that, and the next thing he said was, okay, that's going to make you go Christmas shopping. And I'm going to quote Sayonetta on it, which I would rarely and probably ever do again. But he said, hey, my dude, that sounds stupid as hell. That make no sense. Okay. Now, these are the minds of the guys who are under commanding General Yohanna, man. Okay. They're not learning the fear of the Lord, man. They're not learning truth, okay? They're not learning uh, to be spiritual. They're not learning to grow in faith, man, okay? They're carnal niggas, man, okay? Now, if there's some sincere men amongst them, may the Most High uh, put the Spirit upon you to get the hell away from them guys, man, okay? But let me finish this last scripture out, man, because that's what it's boiling down to. All right, who's going to trust that the Lord is going to take our enemy down and who's going to submit unto the will of this devil? All right, verse 23 again, uh, it says, But thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. So that's what we're going to do. The men of the Lord are going to trust in the Heavenly Father no matter what, man. Okay? And no, okay, now speaking, that's what that's one of the things I had left out that the guy in the I uh in I should be kid uh I should be kid said, basically saying if you want to go uh renew your registration and different things of that nature and you don't have a vaccine, you'll be affected, man. Fuck uh uh some registration, man. All right. The most high is getting ready to send his son back to visit this place, man. And Jake is worried about uh continuing on his privileges in this raggedy ass kingdom, man. All right, man. I'm man. I'm that 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 kind of pissed me off, but hey, man, the righteous gonna serve the Lord, man. That's it for this lesson. Lord willing, us edifying once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Ruchakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.